He has the biggest audience, the most independent presence in the media, in this country, on the internet, um, in Britain that we know of. And that is a massive advantage for us and our members. And so we know that the live stream of this meeting and subsequent videos of the speeches from this meeting will be watched by thousands of people in Britain and many more around the world, um, not just today, but over the coming weeks, months and years, our reach will just extend and extend. It's one of the reasons, of course, why those who want to censor the internet are starting to try to target George in particular, because he represents something that is truly frightening to them. So I'm sure George is going to talk about that and many more things later on today. The only thing I wanted to talk about very briefly um, was a meeting I had recently, and I think it's so it, the message that came out of that was something very important uh, for workers here as everywhere else. This time last week, I was in a meeting in Caracas with the Foreign Minister of Venezuela. There were representatives from countries on every continent in the world. Some of them leaders of states, some of them ministers. Uh, one of them was a former minister in the Syrian government. Um, there were many important people representing the working class, the struggling masses of the entire world were in that meeting. And a really important statement came from the minister. He was talking to us about the struggle in Venezuela and he said it in its context. He said, you know, when the Berlin Wall fell, 1989-1990, he said, young progressive people in Latin America, we felt demoralised, we felt lost, we didn't know what to do. The spirit of struggle continued, but our faith in Marxism was gone. And when the old veteran Marxist guerrillas would talk to us about Lenin 
and Marxism, we didn't want to listen. We said, this is old, this, is, this has been disproved, this is all gone. He said, our struggle in Venezuela has taught us something really important. Lenin was right. Lenin, his definition of imperialism was exactly right. We have learned now who and what our enemy is. And he said, he reported a meeting that he'd been in a week before with his Chinese equivalent, someone from the Chinese Foreign Ministry, maybe the Chinese Foreign Minister himself. And he said that Chinese spokesman had said to him, in order to fight our enemy and win, we must study our enemy. We must understand our enemy. This year marks 150 years since the birth of Lenin. We must take this opportunity to understand what it was that Lenin taught us. Lenin is not some random abstract figure from the past. Lenin was the person, more than any other, who equipped the modern working class with the understanding of who is our enemy? How do you organise to fight your enemy? How do you beat your enemy? How do you build a new state for the workers, by the workers, of the workers? And that's the message I want us to take into all of our work this year, and in this year in particular, to remember that we are not having to reinvent the wheel. There is a huge amount that has been done before that we can learn from, and we must learn from. Our conditions have changed, of course, but our enemy is the same enemy, and if we are not prepared to learn and study and understand that enemy, we can't fight and beat the enemy. But we know, we look around us, we see the urgency of fighting and beating the enemy. And I'm going to leave you with the words of the Venezuelan Foreign Minister, what he said when he closed his speech. He said, it was 200 years ago that Simon Bolivar, who they called the liberator of Latin America, was fighting against the empire. He said, we don't have another 200 years to play with, to keep going backwards and forwards in this game. We have to be serious. We must unite our forces here and internationally. We must study, we must organize, we must win, because the future of humanity depends on it. Our humanity, our humanity is the essence of life, our blood. Our blood nurtures its soul. Our humiliation and pain gives it expression. Our ignorance gives...